Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of July 26, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological week, and it will be right out of the gate as we begin this week that we will begin Mars retrograde season. Mars will enter shadow. So this is the very beginning of the larger season. Now, even though I did make a special horoscope video and I will link to it in the description below, I did want to mention that as Mars steps into shadow, this is where he will, once we get to the middle of November, be stationary direct. This is where Mars will return and stand still in the sky and go forward all the way in the middle of November. Whatever happens now, we will understand it differently. We will see it differently once we get to that place and to that point. Now it is as Mars enters shadow that he will immediately reach out and connect with Mercury in a conversation of tension that astrologers call a square. This energy is going to perfect on Monday. And it is this alignment that is going to allow us the awareness as to what that larger learning may be uniquely for us. Now it is Mercury that is especially interesting right now as well. Normally Mercury will spend about three or four weeks per sign per year. Of course, Mercury does go retrograde three or four times a year, so that turns everything on its head. But it has been since late May that Mercury has been moving through the sign of Cancer. And now, as he's in the home stretch, next week leaving the sign of Cancer after this extended stay, it will be this week that Mercury will make fully four connections in the sky. On Monday, Connecting with Mars, so activating our awareness because Mercury is what it is we're thinking about, what we're talking about, where it comes to Mars retrograde season, how we're going to incorporate that energy, where is it that we are learning to understand power more deeply, what power we have and what power we need to surrender. That is going to be the learning in the early part of the week. But it will be as we navigate towards the end of the week that Mercury will become active again. On Friday, connecting in supreme harmony in a trine with Neptune. Now that energy is dreamy, it is hopeful, it is swept up in a moment, feeling very inspired, plugged into source. So that is a beautiful energy. It is about seeing miracles everywhere we go. But then the same day, Mercury will stand across the sky from Jupiter on Saturday at the end of the week, stand across the sky from Pluto. And that's where the energies start to become more intense. It is this energy of Jupiter and Mercury that speak to hope, uh, perhaps a sense of heightened expectations playing out at that time, but also an awareness of maybe what more there is to do if we are going to manifest even bigger and better, especially in the fullness of time, given that Jupiter is in the sign of Capricorn. That connection with Pluto though does suggest some power struggles or power games playing out. Maybe our interactions don't feel necessarily so loving and so empowering. I'm so sorry to say that, but it can happen. I do know that there are times when our own perceptions can sometimes be skewed. But there are also times when somebody has the illusion of power and they behave in ways that aren't necessarily very aware or very loving or necessarily rooted in wisdom. It is a part of the world that we have created where some people approach life with greater awareness and greater consciousness than others do. And even if you have that intention, energy like this, and especially with Pluto reaching in so deeply within our psyche, Sometimes we may surprise ourselves by how it is that we behave, not expecting ourselves to behave in ways that perhaps are part of our conditioning, but now as we are here, as we are in a moment, we sort of lose all the work that we've done. It can happen, I'm so sorry to say. But just remember, next week, Mercury will stand across from Saturn. That is gonna be a big reality check moment that's gonna allow a final decision to be made. Again, as part of this larger cycle, this larger understanding of mercurial lessons. Now, as a collective, Cancer is the energy of understanding home and family. 
It helps us to understand our most basic identities like nationality or ethnicity. And it is going to be at this time that perhaps we are talking about or communicating more as to how it is we understand where it is that we come from, what our roots are, and especially late in the week, how it is and where it is that we can evolve the energy in healthy and empowered ways. But yes, collectively words might be used in ways and we may see this uh, sort of on the world stage where words are used in a way that aren't necessarily empowered or gentle. Uh, that is the thing that we will have to be a little bit careful of. Now coming back to Monday, Venus is doing big things this week on Monday, connecting with Neptune. This is important for a few reasons. Venus and Neptune have been dancing as part of the larger Venus retrograde season that we have been in since April. And it was way back in May that Venus and Neptune connected twice. Now, this is the final time that these two planets are going to connect before Venus leaves shadow on Wednesday. Now, that leaving shadow part, I am so excited about. I think there are a lot of people out there who are about ready for Venus retrograde season to be over. And this is it. Now pay attention to what is happening in your life right now, not only because of the position of Venus, but also because of the alignment of Venus and Neptune. Well, it does say that what happens now will in some way evoke what was taking place in our lives way back in May. And the energy of Neptune and Venus, especially Venus and Gemini, it is one of illusion, it is one of delusion. Think about what happened the last time this energy was especially active. We had uh, conspiracy theory type videos uh, spread across the internet very, very quickly. And so we may see some of that or we may get a chance to have another look, another deeper look at uh, whatever information it was that was being presented to us way back in the month of May. But now at this moment, even with the confusion, because this is energy of uncertainty in terms of information, yes, because Gemini as a sign is involved, but also for us in matters of heart, in terms of how we express ourselves, how we give voice to our heart and the desires of our heart. Yes, there is uncertainty, there's mixed messages, there is confusion all around. And yet, because we have been here before, not too long ago, chances are we will be more clear than we might otherwise be. Once Venus leaves shadow though, we are in brand new territory and Venus is gonna stay in the sign of Gemini right to the 8th of August. And that means that we will be able to reap benefit. Venus, after all, is considered uh, to the ancients, they called Venus the lower benefic. And so this is going to be that sense of being able to reap reward in at least one area of life to experience some sense of blessing transpiring now. And I do think that for a lot of us out there, it is going to be the rewards of the work. It is going to be after this period of uncertainty and questioning and illusion, and even some delusion as well, where our own hopes colored what we were being shown, the work that we did on ourselves, now the rewards will be there. Wherever it is that we need to be mindful to infuse communication with kindness, well, Venus and Gemini can help us do that. However, because of what Mercury is doing, some of that energy may end up being somewhat negated. Uh, you think about the sign of Cancer where Mercury is, that is a particularly emotional energy as well. And so it is our emotions and our fears that may color communication that can be part of what provokes strong reaction, especially late in the week. But at least Venus there will be part of helping us to keep the intention of love at the forefront of what we express. Now, finally, we are going to have an important and somewhat major alignment taking place between Jupiter and Neptune. This type of alignment is more rare, but it is operational throughout the year. This is the second of three exact alignments that these two planets are going to have this year. The first one took place way back in the second part of February. We're having the second one now. The third one is going to take place in the month of October before these two planets start creating space not to connect in a type of 
conversation that astrologers call a sextile again for a few years to come. Now it is this conversation that is harmonious. However, it represents opportunity. It represents new insight and it is through taking action that we're able to make the most of it. But here's the thing, both of these planets are decidedly dreamy. Jupiter is the ancient ruling planet of Pisces. Neptune is the modern ruling planet of Pisces in the sign of Pisces right now. Jupiter is in the sign of Capricorn. Uh, Jupiter isn't considered especially strong in the sign of Capricorn as well. So you put these energies together and you can see how we might get very swept up in a moment, swept up in a spirit. And as hopeful as we are of opportunity, there's also a need to ground our actions to ensure that they are going to be effective. That may be a little bit harder to do. Remember, it is under the same sky that we are having Venus squaring Neptune as well. So as much as that harmonious energy will seek to help us and might, it is our own desires or perhaps us seeking an easier, softer way, perhaps us seeking a more uh, pleasurable way of going about doing work that actually might be more involving well these might be ways in which this energy could get a little bit spread out or thin any benefit that could be there can still be reaped though where it is that we are interested in carving out space to plug into source to understand genuine inspiration to ignite our creativity to allow a sense of visionariness to come from a higher place that is where we are using this energy to our advantage but we do want to be careful because it is very easy with this energy to get caught up in uh, what could be very illusionary and that does seem to be the energy playing out at this time and that further affirms the energy of next week i'm giving you a little bit of a heads up now next week is huge on the one hand we are going to have mercury standing across saturn right that is that reality check looking at things uh, in a more stark way being presented with facts that are hard to ignore that we must look at but the other layer of what is happening next week, well, it is a full moon in Aquarius. It is in a tight square with Uranus. So it is speaking with precision in a conversation of tension with Uranus. Yes, I'm gonna dive into it next week, but I wanted to mention it now because we are gonna feel that energy building before this week is even over. It is an energy that is uh, revolutionary, uh, but also can be impulsive as well, determined as well. And it is that energy next week, both of these energies that I've spoken of, that speak to a wake up call. They both are connected to reality in their own unique ways. And so as much as this week starts off with high hopes and high dreams, which can be really beautiful, it is what we do with it that matters. Things start to get a little bit more complicated as we navigate towards the end of the week and we may realize how our own emotions may be skewing our perception. But then that is going to give way to that sense of a leap towards a truth, a leap towards clarity. Even with that sense of clarity building, clarity coming, still this week has a lot of emotion to it it is when we choose to access an inner wisdom a more grounded sensibility that we'll be able to make sense of this time that much more and a big part of making sense of it is allowing those mercury and cancer lessons to come full circle and to hit home for us now what i love about this week for us will look it is a powerful time without a doubt a consequential time at that the fact that venus retrograde season is good and over i think that we should rejoice it is going to start to feel a lot more clear a lot more obvious in terms of where we are going in terms of love for others love for ourselves whether we are courting new love or we are in established bonds at the same time there is another layer playing out and that is the beginning of the mars larger retrograde season mars isn't retrograde yet mars will go retrograde in the middle of september again i'll be here to talk about it every step of the way and i already did talk about it in a special video however this is going to represent an important moment now right out of the gate 
Watch what is taking place. Emotions may be running especially high and especially where it is that we are communicating with others. We might get our buttons pushed in some way. But I do think the great opportunity, especially with a week like this, is to understand what self-care is going to mean uniquely for us. That is ultimately what the Cancer energy of Mercury is asking for us to contemplate, to consider, and to truly focus our minds on healthy forms of care for ourselves, for each other, and self-care being at the forefront because it is when we are taking the best of care of us that we're able to interact with the world with that much more clear intention. Venus in her own unique way is part of helping us now, helping us to see with eyes of love, to speak words of love wherever possible and where it is that we can't to at least be willing to contemplate why that may be. And in the process, uncover some deeper truth within. And the deeper truth is always, always connected to how it is that we are learning, how it is that we are growing, and where it is that self-acceptance becomes a necessary condition for being the kind of person that's worth being in the world. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading you guys. And of course, if you want to know how all this wonderful stuff this week speaks to you in your sign, log on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. I have very big announcements this week. Brand new offerings are taking place that I hope you absolutely love. So the very first thing I do want to announce is a brand new session of Synchronicity University, parts one and two. This is the autumn session. If you sign up before August 21st, you can choose your own tuition rate as low as just $5 a class. And there are a limited number of scholarships available as well. I love making my astrology classes available to as many people as possible. Now, it is going to be this session that's going to be stand out for a few reasons. There will be fully four classes on tarot for astrologers. Now, as you are watching this and right around the time that this publishes or shortly after, there is going to be a video up called Pick a Card, a tarot reading for the month of August. I hope you watch that. I hope you love that. It is going to be that video that gives you insight into how I make astrological connections and correlations to tarot. And so we are going to be going through two classes on the major arcana, two classes on the minor arcana. This is uh, something that I have practiced in my own life for decades. But now I am going to share with you how it is that I connect astrology and tarot and how I use it in my own practice. So again, I hope you love it. The classes are going to be brilliant. They'll teach you astrology. We have two classes on Lilith, two classes on the moon, two classes on Mercury. So there's a lot of learning to be had. And again, you can choose your own tuition rate if you sign up now. Links are in the description below. The other big announcement, if you can't get enough learning, there is, of course, my upcoming class, just a few days left to register for YouTube for Astrologers. Now, this class is being offered through the world-renowned institute called Kepler College. Kepler College is the premier location for astrological education. I feel incredibly honored uh, to have been asked to contribute a class. This is a five week class. It gets very detailed. We are going to go through the practical, the personal. We are going to cover a lot and we are going to go there. These classes will do everything from help you to create videos that you can feel good about personally, technologically. It'll help you to understand the different ways in which you can reach people with what it is you have to share, help you to cultivate your own unique voice and so much more. This is a summation of all the different things that I have learned uh, spending 12 years on YouTube. And it's just such a privilege now to be able to pass on that knowledge. Uh, it's something I dreamed of doing for a long time. And when Kepler asked me, it was just such a natural fit. So it is a five week class. It gets really detailed. There's mentorship involved as well. It is personal. It is a safe space where we can learn together. Space is very limited. It is expected to sell out. There are just a few spaces left. 
Uh, as I'm recording this, I think there are only 11 spaces left, if that. And that is available at the link in the description below. The direct link to Kepler College is there in the description below. And I really look forward to meeting you in class and sharing that journey with you. Now, the other really big news I have is The Universe is Wise and Loving is now available for pre-order on Amazon. You can pre-order this book now on Amazon. Now, it will be August 22nd that the book is gonna come out. However, pre-orders are only available for the ebook version. It is gonna be the hard copy that's launched on the same day though, so you can access that. Um, on the day it goes on sale, August 22nd. But if you want the free gifts, you do have to pre-order. The free gifts are two uh, videos, two lessons that I taught with Synchronicity University. One lesson I taught back in June, and that was called the changing of the nodes. Now the changing of the nodes looks at the nodal axis moving from the Cancer Capricorn axis and into the Gemini Sagittarius axis as it did back in the spring, late spring that is. And what that means for you and your sign, I go through each of the 12 signs, I talk about it for the collective, all of that is in that video. The other video webinar is going to be understanding uh, the nodes of the moon in terms of connecting uh, the ruling planets of the nodes and how that helps the chart to come alive that much more. And so what is not in this book is in that video basically. So this book uh, explains to you how I understand the nodes in the astrology chart. And then we go through uh, one section that has the nodes through the signs and then the nodes through the houses and then the nodes and aspects to planets. That's what we're gonna be touching on and talking about in this book. Uh, it is some 200 pages, just over 200 pages. And what I wanted to do was make it really easy to flip through, to look up very quickly uh, what a certain placement can mean, but where it is that you want to take that study further, it is really helpful to have that second video on understanding the ruling planets of the nodes in your chart. And so those free gifts that I will give you for pre-ordering this book uh, on Amazon. Uh, the value of them comes to $70. So what you'll have to do is pre-order the book through Amazon. They don't charge you right away. I think Amazon has this ebook version available for seven something, $7.75, something like that, which is uh, the low, low price. That's the lowest price it's gonna be. Um, and then on August 22nd, when the book comes out, that is when Amazon will officially charge you. But you can send us the pre-order receipt. Make sure you block out any information that we don't need. Uh, it really is just about connecting to your email, connecting to your name. And then it will be on August 22nd that you will get those downloads sent to you directly. So I hope that you absolutely enjoyed those downloads. Now, a whole lot of people did pre-order this book. I was very surprised at the volume of orders that did come in. Thank you so much for that. So what that tells me is that there is a desire for this insight, for this wisdom, for this knowledge. And that absolutely can be available to you in hard copy or in ebook version as well. And thank you again for your trust. Now I do have additional books, Prayers to the Sky and The Body and the Cosmos. Both of these books debuted as number one new releases in New Age Astrology. Uh, thank you so much for that. Thank you for all the love that continues to come to these books, all the people who continue to purchase them. Thank you so much. And you can still purchase these hard copy versions, ebook copy versions, all of that is available wherever books are sold online and links are in the description below. Now I spoke quite a bit about Mars retrograde. Remember Mars retrograde special horoscopes are available on my website, nadiashaw.com. They are available for free for superstars as well in the superstar space. And so I hope you absolutely love them. Each one of the Mars retrograde season special horoscopes is over 20 minutes long. I went into depth looking at key points for you so that you could understand how to best navigate this time, gave you insights and hopefully some empowering information. And thank you for all the wonderful feedback that the Mars Retrograde Special Horoscopes have been getting. And those videos are available right now for download and free in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. You can get my interpretation of your natal chart. This is very exciting, isn't it? My incredible partnership with Cosmogram. I'm so very grateful for them. I'm grateful for all the people who've given amazing feedback and love 
their copy as well. What you do, you go onto their website, you enter your information. Uh, if you want to know what you're going to get on the official link in the description below, you can even download a sample reading that uses the interpretations that I provide. And this is where I go through your planets, look at their placement in terms of house and sign, look at the aspects that all the planets make to each other, and I give you my interpretation of them. And so that is available right now. You go on, you enter your birth data, and within a few hours, you will get the email with that download that you can have forever, keep forever, learn from forever as well. So if you want those insights into your unique chart, click on the link below. And thank you to Cosmogram for my amazing partnership with them who make this possible, who have the software. I provided the interpretation. They have the software and together we're able to provide this incredible printout for you. And I hope you absolutely love it. Well, thank you so much for watching. Once again, synchronicityuniversity.com or the link in the description below. The autumn session is now live and available for choose your own tuition rate, a limited number of scholarships as well. And it is there that you are going to learn tarot for astrologers, four classes, classes on Lilith, two classes that have been a uh, very high demand have been asked of me again and again. And so I'm so happy to provide that along with further astrological insights and understanding. So that link is below. And remember, if you want to join the YouTube for astrologers class through Kepler College, you don't have to be an astrologer, uh, but if you are spiritually motivated and you want to have a spiritually themed channel, then this class can help you out tremendously. There are only a few days left to register. I think at the beginning of this week, there are only about four or five days left to register and it is expected to sell out. There are just a few spots left. So if you'd like to join us, if you feel called to this experience, you can learn a lot more through the link in the description below. And I look forward to meeting you in class and thank you. Thank you so much for your trust. Thank you for this moment with you. I'm truly so grateful for it. And remember, if you would like some tarot insights, that is going to be published right around the time that this video is publishing. And that is a tarot reading for the month of August. I hope you love it. And that's going to give you insights as well into how I, as an astrologer, cultivate a relationship with the tarot. So again, I hope you love that video. And let me know if you'd like to see more content like tarot content as well. And thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm truly so grateful for you. Thank you for your enthusiasm and love for all the things that I have to share. It really is so exciting to offer new things to you, to see the enthusiasm with which people embrace them. It means so much. Thank you for your trust. And thank you again for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.